to another Tech Minds video. Now in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a piece of software called DudeStar. Now this software has been created by Doug McLean, a ham radio operator from the United States with call sign Alpha Delta 8 Delta Papa. So what does DudeStar do? Well, in short, it's a cross-platform software package which allows direct connection into the most popular ham radio digital modes. Now, as mentioned, it's cross-platform. So this means it runs on Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and even Android. Currently supported is DSTAR, DMR, Fusion, P25, NXDN, and the new M17 reflectors. Now, the software does use open source software vocoders for the digital to analog conversion, but if you own an AMB3000 device such as a Thumb DV or DV stick, then you can use this hardware instead of the software vocoders. Now, I don't currently own any AMB3000 USB devices at the moment, so all of the examples shown in this video will be using the software vocoders. So, who would be interested in using this software? Well, as mentioned before, it's a software package which allows you to connect to various different reflectors on various different digital modes. This means that you can use your computer to talk and listen on the digital networks without even owning a physical radio. So if you're somebody that doesn't have access to digital, or maybe you want to try out the different digital modes, then it may be worth your while to install this software and take a listen, and maybe have a couple of QSOs if you're licensed. So the first thing you need to do is download the correct build for your operating system from the Dude Star GitHub page. I'll leave a link in the description below. Once installed, you'll need to run the software and configure a couple of settings before you can make your first contact. Now on the settings tab, ensure you have the correct vocoder set. So if you do not have an external AMB3000 device, just select the default software vocoder. The playback device is the audio output for example, your computer speakers, and the capture device will be your microphone input. You will also need to enter your call sign in the box provided. Now, underneath the call sign, you'll find some mode specific settings. For example, in the DMR section, we can enter our DMR ID along with a DMR hotspot security password. Now, this password only relates to the hotspot password that you've set on your Brandmeister self care webpage. There's also some other text fields that you can fill in like location and description. Further down, you'll see some settings for when you're using a D-Star mode. Fill these in before using D-Star. So how do we use DudeStar? Well, the first thing we need to do is choose a mode or reflector type. In this example, I'm going to choose YSF mode, which is Yesu Fusion, and then we'll select Hubnet as the host. Now make sure that SWRX and SWTX are both ticked and then click the connect button. Now as this application uses the internet, this may take a couple of seconds depending on your internet connection speed. Once connected and if there's any activity, you should start hearing any stations that are currently transmitting. HF is basically installed and everything is thoughtful. Everybody's now trying AM again, thank goodness for that. You can copy that right down to the noise floor. You can call a good uh, modulation index, you know. Um, with FM, you, you've got limiters in circuit in the IF section, and um, that restricts you to not hearing any, anything until in a very good. Let's now choose a D-style reflector by selecting Ref from the drop-down. And for this test, I'll connect to Host Reference 30 and Module C. Well, also I didn't drop out. No, I was asking uh, the one uh, radio you've got in your vehicle. Is that the predecessor to the 4100? Yeah, but a couple three generations. Oh, okay. I just don't keep up with that stuff. I, I know they've got the ID 52 that's either out or fixing to come out, and. Uh, it looks nice, but uh, I don't think the wife's going to spring for it. So if I now choose a DMR reflector, and for this, I'm going to choose a Brandmeister host. Now, DMR works slightly differently to the other modes. As with DMR, you need to enter the talk group you wish to connect to, and then you press the TX button for a second to initiate that connection. 
Now, if you are familiar with the Brandmeister dashboard and you have entered your hotspot password into DudeStar settings, then you can actually remotely control which talk group DudeStar is connected to from your Brandmeister dashboard, a bit like when you use an MMDVM hotspot. Alternatively, you can just enter the talk group number and then press the TX button momentarily to initiate that connection. Mm. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> So once the connection has been made, you can then use that TX button to talk to fellow ham radio users using the microphone on your computer. You will also notice there are a couple of sliders which alter the volume levels of both the received audio and your microphone level. Now I would recommend that you connect to one of the parrot reflectors to test your own audio before transmitting on a live talk group. Now the reason for this is that you have to remember that most of these talk groups will be linked to hotspots, links and repeaters around the world and your transmission will also be going out live over RF. And you obviously want your audio to sound the best it can. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until the next video, take care, stay safe. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and a massive thank you to all those subscriptions and those Patreon supporters that help keep this channel running.